it really is like the worst thing that can happen to you. You're working on a Windows 10 machine or any Windows machine for that matter, and it all of a sudden just stops working. You have this blue screen and white text, and if you haven't been saving, you just lost everything you were working on. How swell. But uh, it's one of the most famous error messages in all of computing, really, the blue screen of death or BSOD. In this series of YouTube videos, I'm going to be walking you through what the hell this thing is and what you can do about it. We will see how we can eliminate these blue screen of death error messages from continuing on our systems. Join me in part one. It really is not an exaggeration. The blue screen of death is the worst Windows thing that it's ever had. And it's pretty fascinating because it's had it since very early on, this critical failure of the system and the system either completely freezing on the error message or rebooting itself, both really bad. Let's go on a little history lesson here. This will be fun. Um, let's put ourselves in the time machine and go back to Windows, let's say 95. And when we got the blue screen of death, it looked like this. Today in Windows 10 is a much kinder, gentler blue screen of death. How about the, uh, you know, emoticon? That's pretty funny. So notice here we see we've blue screened. It's collecting error info. It's going to restart automatically. Yikes. We never like it when our machines do that, really. And uh, notice it's 20% complete when this screen cap was taken of the dump of the error information. The big thing that we're going to be working with in this YouTube video series is one of them is the information about the stop code. You can see the very last line of text there, stop code, critical process died. Yikes. And that's specifically critical underscore process underscore died. So notice also the QC code. That's going to be cool. We can scan that and get information and we'll go through a demonstration of that and talk it through. I'm also going to be showing you some really cool tools that will help you eliminate these BSOD problems. And some of those tools will do things like tell you exactly what crashed by examining the information that's getting dumped and then you can use that information to quickly solve your issue. So we'll be having a lot of fun troubleshooting the blue screens of death together to make sure we can eliminate them on our systems. And like I said, one of the things we'll be analyzing is the specific stop codes and how we can research those to find potential solutions. As you're going to see, it can be pretty tricky to track down blue screen of death causes because it can be both hardware faults and software faults. And a lot of times your particular stop error code is going to match a bunch of potential issues. So you have to do the trial and error process of finding out what the issue is. I can tell you this, a majority of my blue screen of death issues over the years and a wide variety of hardware have been software related and specifically in the area of software drivers. So drivers that were either defective when I downloaded them or had maybe even corrupted on my system and those faulty drivers were throwing the blue screen of death error. Well, thanks so much for joining me here in part one of our journey through blue screen of death elimination. I look forward to seeing you in part two.